Today I would like to show you how to use the dual axis joystick with Arduino. And for most people, whenever you talk about this joystick, they are going to think about the game pads they have at home. For example, I have one here for a PlayStation 3 that I usually use. Uh, as you can see, this game pad has two analog joysticks and there's also some other digital buttons here. I think with time I'll be able to show how you can also connect this game stick and use it in a number of projects using Arduino. But that will be for some other time. Today I'm only showing the simple analog dual axis joystick. And anyway, before we can even show how to use this joystick, let's have a closer look at it. This joystick has there's a top pad, a rubber pad which can easily be removed. The major components are these two variable resistors. This is a variable resistor and this is another variable resistor. And these variable resistors are the ones which keep on, they are the ones which determine the position of movement of this axle here or the joystick. So one of the potentiometers will be determining the X axis and the other one will be determining the Y axis. So whenever I move the joystick, in whichever direction you move it, it's going to be changing resistance of these potentiometers. And that change in resistance is the one which is going to be measured by the analog to digital converter of Arduino. And we'll be able to show you the position of your joystick. And there's also a simple switch button here. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, so that one, whenever you press here, that's how the, the button works by pressing here. Okay, then these are output pins. So these output pins are very simple. One is for ground, it's going to be connected to the ground of the Arduino. The one is 5 volts, going to the 5 volts with the Arduino. Then this VRX is going to be connected to the variable resistor representing the x-axis. And then the VRY represents the variable resistor for the y-axis. And then the SW goes to the switch so before i can show you any use of this joystick let me first show you how you can be able to read the position of the joystick using a simple program let's now do some simple calibration of our joystick here yeah, i'm going to be showing you the analog channels for the x and y locations whenever i move your joystick so before you do that, you make sure you have the switch connected to digital pin 8, then the X potentiometer, or the potentiometer representing the X axis is on analog pin 0, and then the potentiometer representing the Y axis is on the analog pin 1. Then actually the rest of the code you can easily understand it is simply going to be showing the values of the X and the Y position of the joystick as you move it on the serial monitor so let's upload this code and then we see what we get on the serial monitor so after uploading we open our serial monitor and from the serial monitor you can see whenever the switch is not pressed it is one and remember we said that the analog axis moves from 0 to 1023 uh, therefore, so if our joystick is in the middle without movement in any direction, it should be around 512. That's why you see the X value here is 516, 15, and this is 500 and it's around there, 512. So let's try to move our joystick. For example, if I move it in the X direction to the far left, you discover the x axis becomes zero okay and if i move it to the far right the, the x axis becomes 1023 meaning that is the maximum value of the x axis i put it back in the middle then if i move it downwards the y axis is 1023 that's the maximum value of the y axis and if i move it far up it's going to be y-axis is going to be zero meaning that is the minimum value of the 
y axis i can move it in the direction the diagonal directions so if i move it in that diagonal direction you discover we are having 1023 as the x axis and zero as the y axis so you can try moving it in different directions so that you can be able to see how the values keep on changing so that's how you show the analog position of your joystick on the serial monitor this very concept is going to be done using processing id where i'm going to move this white dot across the back background and even show the analog x and y values in each, in each case i'm going to put a link to the code in the description below so that you can be able to check it out and try it out on your own if you want so let's try it out very simple so when you move the joystick the dot moves and then you can be able to read the value of the x and y so this can also help you to know where your x values are your y values are and the different movements of the joystick so this is a simple simple design a simple pro project you can try out as beginners now to use this analog joystick and from here i'm going to be able to show you how this very concept can be used on an 8x8 LED matrix. So now you can move the concept from the processing IDE and putting it here in a more visible form, a more practical form using a, a simple 8x8 LED matrix. I've talked about this, how it works in my other tutorials. You can check it out and make reference. So we are going to be able to move that dot across the LED matrix. But the movement is going to be controlled by the dual axis joystick. So I'll put the code and the schematic of how this connection is done in the description below. So if you want to try it out, you can check the link below. Okay, let me upload that code and I see how this works. So when you upload the code, you see that the dot is in the, in the middle there of the LED matrix. And the dot is going to be moving depending on how you move your joystick. So you see that the movement of the joystick determines the direction of movement of the dot across the LED matrix. It's a very simple and good project for beginners which can give you an idea of how the dual axis joystick works. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thanks for watching.